Yeah, hello and welcome to another update about VeChain. Uh, won't spend too much time here, but VeChain is getting to a very interesting point now, which is why I do an update and also I've been requested or asked to do another update on VeChain. Um, it seems to be quite popular. And to be fair, I think it is uh, very interesting because VeChain has now come onto the radar, radar of uh, Grayscale, who are considering to put VeChain or to invest in VeChain, yeah, and to add it, uh, it to one of their funds. Um, and I think VeChain is going to have a great future. That's just my view. Basically, I think they are going to help to revolutionize the supply chain industry with their tracking and track and trace solution and uh, everything based on blockchain and um, good partnerships as well. Really, really interesting, but not too many people are talking about it, which is a bit of a shame. But um, I think it's getting, it's going to get its uh, time and the, the current prices are just phenomenal. And I think at some point in the future, we're gonna look back and say, wow, we had a five cent VeChain, amazing. Um, but again, this is no financial advice. It's only really only my own opinion. And as you know, if you've been following me also with my buy orders on Discord as a channel member, you will know that I have been dollar cost averaging in to VeChain here. I can't remember when I started first. I think it was below 10 cents. And all of these are in my view, still fantastic prices and uh, the last one I bought down here at around five five and a half cents or 5.2 or something so pretty much the low for now um, so yeah there we are we are here in the target area that we've been talking about since we were ooh, I think since November yeah or something and we finally come into the target area down here and we've seen a reaction not too not a very strong reaction but we have stopped the downtrend for now. We are consolidating and we're trying, not really strongly though, to get out of this target area again, yeah? But VeChain is generally still quite weak. Looking at it, I would say we're gonna come down once more, yeah? There is certainly a possibility because it sort of failed for now to move further up. But what I need to say is we're coming here to a very interesting level and you can see it straight away, this descending trend line, okay? This has provided resistance throughout. You can see that here, how the price did not manage to push above this trend line actually since the beginning of November. And we are just gonna, here probably in the next couple of days, we're gonna head towards this one. And the price hasn't really moved any in any way. I mean, you've got here this sort of rectangle pattern actually. It's pretty much not moving at all. You can see that here. Uh, the price is pretty much looking like a stable coin here. Um, and you're approaching here this very, very strong resistance. So it will be very interesting what's gonna happen here. To be fair, it also depends to a certain degree on Bitcoin. Um, what we need to say is that VeChain is here in this target area, yeah? It has basically done what it needs to do from a technical point of view, yeah? From a technical point of view, um, from an Elliott Wave point of view, it has done what it needs to do to complete the correction. But I think because we have gone below the 0.786 FIB level, we are in the target area. I think we are going to see at some point, even if it's only briefly, the 0.887 FIB level at 3.3 cents. I think we could get down to that level in a final sell-off of Bitcoin, which I expect, but that's of course not guaranteed. And therefore I started to dollar cost average in now at, in my view, amazing price compared to where we were already um, earlier here in uh, November at around 18 cents and uh, at 30 cents roughly or 28 cents in April 21. I think a VeChain uh, price of five cents is phenomenal also considering what they're doing with their ecosystem. So it will be very interesting. I think we could really push here. We will definitely are gonna see a reaction. So it should be the end of this boring sideways move. The least that I expect, I, I won't, what I don't expect actually is that we just move here through as if there was no trend line at all. Yeah, I think we are going to see a reaction. And I think what kind of reaction we are seeing, it depends on Bitcoin because VeChain has come into this target area. It's done what it needs to do in terms of the correction. But if Bitcoin is now gonna get a, um, a move down, I think we're gonna see an even stronger sell-off for VeChain because it has hit resistance. And then you're going to see an even stronger reaction here, especially that very strong and very clear resistance level. However, if Bitcoin suddenly starts to jump quite a bit, then I think VeChain is gonna see quite a bit of a breakout here, and that could push up uh, quite high, possibly to the previous high here at around 8.3 cents. But even then, I think a breakout to the upside isn't complete. 
I would um, first talk about it as soon as we've hit here above 10 cents. I think that is sort of a psychological level and also the previous swing high of that previous wave formation here. Uh, until then, I think not too much is gonna happen. Um, certainly very boring the chart at the moment, but we are here, keep an eye on it. The next couple of days, this is going to be interesting and I'm gonna keep you updated. Um, but yeah, VeChain so far has just been moved in line with expectations and we have come to the destination, right? I mean, we are here now, from here, somewhere in here, I do expect the turnaround and that could be quite a nice one here all the way to the upside. Um, and we've been talking about that for, for months now. So at some point here, I do expect the turnaround and we shouldn't really need to fall much further. I think here at the latest at 3.3 cents, I would expect a strong reaction and then a, quite a fast move to the upside. But there's no guarantee that we're gonna fall that far. So bear that in mind. And as soon as we see the turnaround, of course, I'm gonna keep you updated about that. But um, yeah, the next move up could take us really nicely into the area of at least 45 cents, which is fantastic. That would be even a, a nearly a 10X from now. So yeah, very attractive for me, VeChain at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye on it in the next few days here for you. So I hope you liked the update about VeChain. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe join as a channel member and join a really great community of now. Uh, over 800 channel members, really fantastic um, for you know my own uh, swing trade buy and sell orders, um, lots of stuff in Discord, Telegram, and a weekly live stream as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.